What's going down, everybody? It's your boy that got my high tuning back in for episode 39. Chris Coffee Morning Show, season four. Game, game, game. Got my dog Turner One Take, my dog Eric. How y'all fellas doing this morning? Yes. Oh, did the mic go out? Oh, up, shit. Up, <laughs> up. <laughs> This is this is this is the the start of the show. We got a mic go out. <laughs> Anyways, he, blah, blah, yeah. As soon as we get his mic switched out, he will answer the question. How? Hopefully, y'all are doing good out there. You know what I'm saying? Living good, feeling good. You know, smoking good, drinking on a good coffee. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. There he is. But yeah, how y'all fellas doing today, man? Yeah, feeling Monday. good. Man. I'm I'm up. I'm ready to work and shit. There you I gotta, go. I gotta go to the studio after this. I'm just ready to. Get the day started. Get the day nice. Off, How you Hell feeling, yeah. man? I'm good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know I'm ready. I mean, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're ready to go. It's Monday, but I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I like. I feel like people who get upset about Mondays are people who don't got shit going on in their lives. Absolutely, bro. It sets the tone for the week. Yeah, Come bro. On, I be man. having. I, I be excited it. I for Mondays. Monday because I be having a lot of shit going on. Like the day that I think I hate the most is Sunday, personally. Okay. Because it's the last, like, that's the day where it's like you want to be relaxed, you want to chill, you want to like you get ready prepare. for the fucking week and shit. <laughs> yeah. and be like, I want to just be in as much relaxation and rest as possible. But then you be sitting there thinking about like, damn, I gotta get so much shit done Absolutely. tomorrow. Like, <laughs> you start preemptively <laughs> working and shit on Sundays and shit. Facts. So Sunday be the day that I be, I be like super torn between like trying to relax but get shit done. Absolutely. And, so by the time Monday comes, like I'm ready for it. Like ready you know, to go. relaxation mode is turned off. <laughs> Absolutely, ready, you know what I'm saying. I'm a, I got shit to do. I got yeah. shit to do. But uh, yeah, man, y'all know what time it is. Let's get into this, bro. <laughs> Dad joke time. Let me see that lighter too, pal. I, I got. We got some jokes. Talk to me. <laughs> why, why was six afraid of seven? Why was six? Why? Because seven was black. What the fuck, nigga? Hold on. What, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, was I love black. the face. What? I love that both of y'all looked at me though. I'm like, you need to split screen that shit. Like, you got me. right? Because <laughs> both y'all said, like, y'all both looked at me at the same time with like the same like fucked up. Oh like, shit! For real? <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Okay, because uh, I know a bunch of y'all. Hold up, I know a bunch of y'all was like seven, eight, nine, and that's why I was gonna you know, say that. I know and a I bunch was like, nah. <laughs> well, no, nah. because I'm like, I'm like, this nigga ain't gonna say this old classical ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is definitely something else. But what is it? You know, like, this nigga said because seven's black. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <nigga. laughs> out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, okay. Why did the mailman die? Because the dog got him. Because everybody dies. <laughs> Facts. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, facts. Why won't Monica Lewinsky vote for Hillary Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> the last Clinton presidency left her left a bad taste in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, what's Ooh. the difference between a hockey player and a hippie chick? I don't know. A hockey player changes his pad every three periods. <laughs> Hippie chicks don't. Mm-hmm. That's just gross. <laughs> that's gross. Just, hey. Something stinks. <laughs> something stinks. Yo, that, that's why I've never been into the hippie culture. Like, I love the smoke. You never know. And all that. These niggas be... They shave your armpits, ladies. They shave your legs. I so dedicated you towards this oh, yeah. to where it's like, nigga, y'all niggas don't even... It's like, you know you can be spiritual and put deodorant on, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I be seeing these niggas go on... Uh, like Instagram, like, oh, I don't think I need the shower, but once a month, like, what? Nigga, what? That's like, disgusting. like, yeah, that's bro, gross. That's disgusting. Uh, <laughs> that's what's your disgusting. Name? Ashton, Ashton Kutcher and uh, what's yeah. her name, Mia Kumas? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're they, like they, that. They, they said they don't take showers. That's gross. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's gross. Anyways, what do you call a psychic little person who has escaped from prison? <laughs> yeah, I don't Man, know. That's too much for me. <laughs> a small, medium, at large. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, what did Kermit the Frog say at his puppeteer's funeral? Did your hand stink? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, he died. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No puppeteer. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're right. That was common sense. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Why does it take pirates so long to learn the alphabet? Because all they know is R. 
Nope, because they spend too many years at sea. Uh, <laughs> pirates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's yellow and can't swim? Uh, school bus full of kids. A dead goldfish. <laughs> How do you surprise a blind guy? Surprise a blind guy? I don't know. Leave a plunger in the toilet. Oh, oh that's fuck fucked up. up. That's fucked Damn, up. Damn, bro. What the fuck is going on? Oh, <laughs> nigga gonna sit his ass down. Thanks. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Did Damn, Jesus bro. die a virgin? Uh, no. Because he was nailed a few times. <laughs> <laughs> he was nailed before he died. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Coco said, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to a one-legged hitchhiker? Oh, shit. I don't know. Hop in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you call a man with no arms and no legs floating in the ocean? Dead. Bob. Oh, yeah, because he's bobbing. Yep. <laughs> he's bobbing. Yep. <laughs> All right. What else you got? Uh, so why is uh, six are scared of seven? Again? <laughs> is this, I don't know why. <laughs> because seven, eight, nine. But why did 10 have PTSD? Why? Because he was stuck in the middle of 9-11. <laughs> That's oh <laughs> that's got layers, <laughs> layers, layers bro. <laughs> Mine was like, oh my god, Wait, layers. Holy shit! Oh my god! A oh. triple entendre joke. <laughs> hey, oh come on, Debo. <laughs> I know, right? You know what I'm saying, Debo over there. <laughs> what else you got? Every zodiac sign has a signature hairstyle, except for right. a cancer. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> Oh, oh, bro. Awesome bullshit. Is, bro. <laughs> What's the difference bro. between an actress and a hooker? What? That's not a very good defense, Mr. Weinstein. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> good shit. oh man. Good shit. Okay, okay. Why, why, why don't foot fetishes ever win anything? Why? Because they like the taste of defeat. <laughs> defeat. <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> uh, anyways That was good Would you guys go to space If you had the opportunity To live And the money Or to go Just to go To the yeah. edge of space Yeah uh, I'm not scared well, There's a company that's offering uh, A $50,000 balloon A space balloon ride To the edge of space so, Oh Wait, a balloon? I don't ride? know about the balloon. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's a negative. How the yeah. fuck does that do? <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, yeah, it's, it's a balloon that's going to take you to the edge of space. Nah, I'm good. For $50,000. Not on a hot air balloon. <laughs> nope. I mean, it's, it's a very, you know, sophisticated balloon. You know oh, what I'm talking saying? talking about rockets. But it'll take, you, <laughs> yeah. it'll take you up to uh, 100,000 hey, feet above the earth in order for you to see various wonders of the world. I'm good. Yeah, I'll pass straight. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll pass. Yeah. You ain't paying fifty thousand dollars to go are, on a balloon. Are, 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 are you here? Are you here? Is the, are you here? Is this the shit start leaking? Fuck that. <laughs> Balloon, like, uh, balloons shit. pop. Oh my god. Fuck bro. that. Well, like if, anybody, if, I was, if I was that high and that shit like started coming down, I would die before I hit yeah, the ground. I'm just from just a heart real. attack. I'd be yeah, like, facts. nigga, oh my Pass out. Thanks, bro. Oh, nigga. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, it's $50,000 a seat and they're taking, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I stuttered like a motherfucker right there. <laughs> 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 they're taking trips starting as early as 2024. Um, yeah, so if you, if you want to join that, then you're more than welcome to yeah. do that. I'm not getting in a motherfucking balloon like these motherfuckers. <laughs> nope. I wasn't even entertaining that shit in the beginning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, to go 50, to space would be, would be cool yeah, like on like some more. crazy, you know, life support fucking ship Absolutely, that you know bro. is you about yeah, to go yeah, live in you know, that bitch. And all that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 the earth is going oh, yeah. to shit. And, then I'll you go. Know, I'll consider yeah. it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you know, I got, I got no other option. <laughs> let's go, nigga. Let's go. Thanks. But uh, yeah, so, you know, that's cool. If y'all want to check that shit out, you'll be able to see, you know, all the wonders of the world and shit because they're going to pretty much I'm pretty sure allow you to uh, or put you up and the earth is still moving and shit so that's I'm assuming that you're going to like you know see other things mm -hmm. see things and things that you would never see before cool at one time <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying hey just, just take a video Put that shit on YouTube there for you us. Go. We've seen that already. We got yep. that already. Google <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Google that. I Google saw that shit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> but anyways, man, g Easy has revealed that he saw Madonna twerking on Quavo at a party. Oh, oh yeah. shit. 
<laughs> oh shit! Madonna be having she, Madonna. I feel like is like the original hot girl. Summer. She she is, bro. She like, started Madonna be on be, some it would be hot girl oh, yeah. shit. But Even at fifty five or whatever she, she is was, now. And, but it would be like acceptable if she was a hot girl. Facts. I feel <laughs> you. You know what I'm right. saying? I like, no, I'm gonna just be honest. Like, if Madonna was on me, I'd feel disgusted as fuck. Yeah, I mean, she like fifty five years old and, right. and done fuck like and she like, didn't been ran through three or four yeah. times. Yeah. Oh, but bro, yeah. you, I would. I'm talking about even her in her prime though. Like, I never thought. I'm with you. I never thought Madonna was not like a fine girl, bro. No, not at all. Like niggas are tripping. Yeah, that ain't, my, that ain't my speed, bro. She be turning them out. She, she kissed that, <laughs> she she kissed that nigga Drake in the mouth, and that nigga was like, <laughs> <laughs> "You dirty bitch, you!" <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Like, like you can tell he probably face. felt real dirty. Like, oh, where yeah. the mouthwash? Oh, that's gross. Where the bleach? You that's can that's where the bleach, niggas. Face. You got y'all got to look that, that just, shit up. That nigga felt like he just kissed the whole industry right there. <laughs> <laughs> he basically did. Because the thing is, she just kissed this nigga out of nowhere too. I know. Didn't expect it. I know. Like. It was, it, what isn't was that it Madonna? I think so. I mean, it's nigga, that shit yeah. happened to yeah. me. Isn't uh, oh. isn't that isn't she the same one I kissed? It was her and Britney Spears. Yeah, too, that, and Christina yeah. Aguilera. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yep, bruh. Yeah, she's yep, bruh. So I, I'm just saying because <laughs> yep. I know I know firsthand how that shit feels. Not from a celebrity or nothing, but like nigga, I was in probably like tenth grade, mm -hmm. and I'm just in the library on my lunch and shit, bro. Just like probably listening to music, probably writing songs or some shit. And nigga, all I know is I'm I had my headphones in. I'm just sitting there. And then something comes up and just goes. I'm like, what the fuck? Yep. She was trying to fuck. <laughs> a sexual assault. I turned around. <laughs> nigga, and it's this fat ass bitch. Ah, uh, <laughs> she resputed you, bro. Oh, oh wait. She, <laughs> hell, <bro. laughs> she tried to you, nigga. You see Norman? <laughs> it ain't even that. You see Norman? Like, you, you my boyfriend <laughs> now. <laughs> that, like, when I say this, I'm saying like she's one of them girls that was like. Like nigga, she'll beat your ass. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, you better like, yeah, you like, kiss me. Right, like, nigga, nigga. you my boyfriend now. Bro, and, and we I'm, go together. But I'm saying, like, listen, I'm, I'm small now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, a you was an old nigga back then. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. in high school. I was <laughs> look, small. Look, I was so I say, small. Like, nigga, you. When what? I say this was Norbert and Respucia, I meant that. Yeah. I know. Oh, I'm shit. looking at this like you my boyfriend now. We go together. I was probably only like five fucking two, 120 fucking. Pounds, you know what I'm saying? Just little as shit, bro. Oh and yeah, she came bro. through and she baby took it. DJ, you, bro. Yo, she, she came through it. baby D. But I wasn't like, I, I, like I was mad at my head, but I didn't make a big deal out of it. Yeah, because right. how could you? She was gonna hey, baby D you for real. <laughs> I was just like, fuck it. Yeah. And she walked off. I was just like in my head, like, Ew. <laughs> you felt dirty, huh? No, not really. I was more just confused. Like what? like what the fuck? Like, what just happened? To she's me? on some Lord shit. Jesus, that shit ain't never happened. Like, and I'm sitting there like, uh, I don't know. Like, what did the this fuck shit really just happen? So, listen, I got up. I got up because like I'm in the library and shit. Other people are looking, and I'm like, nigga, I'm not mad at her. You tried. You shot your shot. Do you? <laughs> Well, what I'm mad about is the fact that now these niggas might think that you're my girl. Right. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. Oh, yeah. You should you. So, so we I, go together. So I get up. I get up like, nigga, I stand up. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, real loud. And I just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga had to make it known. <laughs> fuck that. I don't want to be associated with this bitch. He embarrassed myself one time real quick. I went downstairs. I went downstairs outside downstairs to where all the all the other homies. Because all the other homies and shit, they didn't care. Like, they wasn't on the same shit as me. Right. They was playing football and shit. Yep. I go down there like, nigga, I don't even play football, nigga. Play, play. <laughs> Throw me the ball. Yeah. Like, like, hey, can, I, can I hop in the game? <laughs> like, fuck that shit. I go down there and start telling everybody. And when I told them who kissed me, bro, everybody clown me. Nigga. Oh, nigga. Oh, I'm like, damn, bro. This nigga got respuse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We go together. Nigga, but, but anyway, the, point, the point to telling that story is like you said, is that, is that what would you say? Sexual harassment yeah, or whatever? Yeah, so, yeah. Nigga, it feels like it. It coming, is. coming from a nigga that experienced it, it definitely feels like it. And I'm just, I'm gonna just be honest with you. It could have been the cutest girl in school. Right. I still would have felt the same. I probably would have accepted it more. <laughs> but I still would have felt like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, that's, that's weird. That felt real weird. Weird. That's weird. Yeah, like, yeah, felt, yeah like, felt like they just bitched you. Yeah, I'm saying I, I, yeah, you the girl. Yeah. You the right? girl. We go together. It's, it's almost like, like, like you know, what I'm saying, like, damn, these motherfuckers just took something from hell. Me. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, yeah. fuck that shit, bro. Mm. Like. That's how I feel. So don't, don't, girl, girls don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a PSA announcement for all you ask, ladies. Ask permission. Y'all, y'all want us to get permission. Y'all need to ask us too. Absolutely. Facts. There is such thing That's as shit. women raping men. Yeah. That is real.
Real Y'all shit. can take it. No means no, motherfucker. That's right. Even if my dick says otherwise. <laughs> if I said no, it just because I got like don't mean shit. Right. That motherfucker don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> gets me in trouble. That, hey, that's a fact, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, hey, it's like having another person, bro. Yeah, like, that, that, I have no control <laughs> over what happens. Like, this is not my fault. What if I said no, no bitch? <laughs> I meant no. Yo. Yo. Facts, bro. bro. Oh, man. Anyways, did y'all watch the uh, Saturday Night? Saturday Night Live situation, uh, SNL with Kim Kardashian. No, the host. Nah, Remember we I, talked yeah, about it last week. I didn't, I didn't watch it though. Yeah, nah, so she she hosted I didn't it. No, at all. And there was a little bit part of there where she or a part in there where she. Uh, well, first off, shout out to Kim because from what I heard, mm-hmm. she did all right. Good. Like most people, like I don't, I haven't heard anything bad about. I, that. I, I fuck like, with that Kim she, Kardashian. That bro. she actually, you know, did her As thing a person, and held her own. Like not not also oh she bad, but like yeah, yeah, for sure. And and the one thing, so remember when we were talking about it. We, were, we had made the mention that Kim was helping her put together, like, her whole set. Who? Wait, who was her? Uh, Kanye, I mean. Oh, okay. My bad. Yay. Yay. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yay was helping Kim put her whole set together. Okay. For, for the Saturday Night For the Night Saturday Night, Night yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But in the Saturday Night Live, there was a whole part that, you know, people are, like, really honing in on because it was pertaining to her and okay. Kanye okay. and that relationship. Yep. And she had basically said, so, <laughs> I married the best rapper of all time. Not only that, he's the richest black man in America. A talented, legit genius who gave me four incredible kids. She continued to say, so when I divorced him, you had to know it came down to just one thing. Uh-uh. His personality. Oh, shit. And that sounds mean, but people keep telling me comedy comes from truth. So there is one thing that I always strive to be, and that's genuine. Uh-uh. And I was like, okay. Okay. Hey, that's being Fair real. Enough. I don't know why we're like, honing in on this. Like, in, in such a like, oh my gosh, she was talking her shit. Right. But she was really. I mean, she, she just, spoke her truth, bro. Yeah. 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 Like, you yo, know. yeah. He was. I for everybody out there. I want you to acknowledge the fact that I acknowledge the fact. Yeah. That I was married <laughs> to a rich black greatest fucking rapper of all time situation. Right. But this motherfucker's personality sucks. Yes. I think that's why it's getting so much shine is because she's yeah. talking about the personality. But everybody yeah. knows that. Facts. You we know all I mean? knew that. We yeah. all would everybody sit there that. and be like, man, what the fuck is this nigga saying behind <laughs> the scenes? <laughs> yeah, right. He says some outlandish shit in public. Oh, bro, and, that is wild, bro. bro like, wild. I just feel like anybody who like, like you think that you're something you're not, like in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga would be like, I'm the Walt Disney of, of mm-hmm. fashion. Like nigga... Walt Disney was a cartoonist, right? An animator, my G. You can't be a Walt there's Disney no comparison. of fashion. It's false equivalency. Nigga, there's there's there, there's niggas with names in fashion, bro. There's yeah. Versace, bro. There's like, there's, a, there, like, there's a whole lot of them. Thanks. But you're you could have said anything. So, but so I get it. Man. He's trying to say he's trying to say basically like I'm a genius type shit. But look at I, I'm the type of person I've told y'all this before. I don't believe that you could be a genius because you're doing something musically. Now, do I believe there are geniuses that make music? Uh-huh. Yeah, probably, for sure. So making dope music, but, it doesn't but, make you but a genius. you yeah. making dope music and yeah. knowing how to orchestrate that, no matter how great it is, doesn't make you a genius uh-huh. because you don't have to have intelligence to do that. Okay. It's yeah. interesting that you say yeah. that. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because, yeah. Look, because the reality yeah. is we, for sure. we don't sit there and call like Mozart or... Bach or any of those Genius. like geniuses, we just call Facts. them, you know, classical composers, great, right. yeah, great, great musicians, yeah, right. It's sure. interesting. Got a point, I bro. brought that yeah. up. I didn't even thought about it like that. Oh, that so, so in my head, it's like, bro, you basically trying to like belittle the whole, the whole rest of like, right, the the, the industry in a way. You know what I'm saying? But you just like these niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. You just like these <laughs> niggas, bro. The Worse. only thing, bro, what 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 made Kanye? Tell him how you really feel, Kanye, bro. I didn't, tell him how you really feel. No, I'm just saying. Like, I didn't see Kanye thinking like he was God level mm-hmm. until after he dropped Watch the Throne with Jay Z, and I probably would have started acting different too. But, that nigga did get real bougie though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. what really did it was when he put the Yeezys out, and they did they amazing. did way better than anybody ever thought it would. Right. And once he did that and started the whole clothing brand and shit like that, that nigga felt like a fucking untouchable. Like, he, oh, felt he felt like, like Jesus. A yeah, that nigga <laughs> felt like Jesus. And that's where it was. He looked at his album. It was, it was that's when he day, really lost me, bro. That when he first compared himself to God, well, not to God specifically, Jesus. but to Jesus. Yeah, that's when I was like, that's oh, like, this nigga is. Well, he done lost rocker. it. Yeah, he done lost it. You got it. too many yes men around you, sir. Thanks, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't take that, that as offense because I, I feel like anybody can compare themselves. No, to I him. feel like it's one thing to sit there and be like, I'm the greatest, and have confidence in yourself, but to sit there and 
compare yourself to a <laughs> godlike entity <laughs> right. is just like that's some some like psychopathic it, shit. It's different. It's sociopath. different. Yeah. It's yeah. different yeah. if you're saying it. I was made in the shit, image of I'm equal to I'm just like this. But to, for you to say I'm God, yeah, that's what that, I'm saying. That, that's that's like, different, nigga. It's different when you're weird. just confident, like you know, I'm the greatest. I'm the best. Like some 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 Muhammad Ali shit, right? Right. Yeah. Like like when you just take that approach, and you just like, you know what? I'm I am the greatest of all time. Like I don't give a fuck about what you do. That's confidence. Because I believe that I'm that's the greatest. Right. Like, it, I don't get this. Yeah. Yeah. Care. Like that's different. But when you like I'm God. No, like no, nigga. Because you're basically telling people to bow down to you. Yeah, and, and, all that and that's type where of I shit, feel, bro. and I yeah. feel like that's why he but, ultimately but his whole turned image to the whole is like that, bro. Like, and I feel like that's why he turned to the whole preaching thing. Because if you look at it, like people really just naturally, look at it like that. they look at priests as yeah. like this, like godlike entity or like vessel, right. and then they're willing to get on their hands and knees to these people and damn near kiss their feet, and that's Facts. what this nigga wanted. So I feel like but that's that shit this nigga is lost me with that, that shit. Oh yeah, a whole fucking. That's crazy. It's cultish. <laughs> it's cultish. Like, cultish. It's That's cultish, it, it bro. It really is. Yeah. That shit crazy, bro. Like, like, I just can't imagine. Like, right, like, Drake is like the arguably the biggest fucking artist of, of, all, of all right time, now. Let's right say now. right now. Right now. Right. Nigga, you don't see this nigga starting cults and <laughs> you, so you fucking can normal, go bigger bro. that. You can go He's bigger so, than that and be like, look, Michael Jackson. The largest Boom. entity, Ever. you know, the entertainer, entertainer on the Ever. fucking planet yeah. to this day still. Absolutely. He doesn't even motherfucking, he didn't have cults. Like, no. you know, people would just love the If they did, like, it, it was, it was right. their creating. This right. nigga Facts. never was asking Facts. for exactly. none of that. Exactly. If Facts. anything, this nigga's putting out songs telling people how to be peaceful and there you go. how to do certain things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he was he was conscious, bro. He just wanted yeah. to, he wanted to enlighten people, bring people But bring the nigga never once, never once went on, went on a... Not even just a record, but like just anything, and said, "Yeah, I'm God. Mm-hmm. I'm Michael Ever. Jackson, and you guys should all be looking up to me because what I say is the truth, and what I say is right. Like, like, that's nigga, what I'm saying. That's what as Ka- soon as Kanye, Kanye has said to be the, an unteachable God ass nigga, once. like he has to be an unteachable. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like you like, can't teach that nigga new tricks. <laughs> <Right. laughs> he's, he's broken, nigga. <laughs> he was in the studio with Jay Z the whole time. Jay Z tried to show the nigga the game. The nigga probably was in like, the hell. Like, no, no, nope. no, nah, nigga, you're Jay Z, but no. Nah. <laughs> look, I think. Look, you want to know some real shit? Yeah, point, I really think that Jay only keeps him around because he makes so much money. Oh yeah, on this nigga, she's like, fuck it. I'm just like, you do you, nigga. What I would do. I'm gonna let you. No, he don't. But that's what I'm saying. I think like I'm saying like on contract though, because like there's like they don't do anything together. You don't see these niggas on in pictures together. Don't talk about each other. You don't hear Jay mention this nigga anymore unless it's like in past reference stuff. Like if someone in an interview is like, well, you know, so what happened with you in the Kanye beef and blah blah, and he'll clear up some of that shit and, but he don't speak on that nigga at all at this point yeah I'm, I'm proud of him he's doing his thing yeah you know what I'm saying like to me that's just like Jay's like I'm getting a check from this nigga and I can get <laughs> two month. shits cause this nigga yeah. is crazy <laughs> as fuck <laughs> <laughs> I keep him at an arm's length nigga oh, shit. fuck are you talking about yeah, for real <laughs> anyways though you know who needs to be at an arm's length who's that it's fucking <laughs> Deontay Wilder <laughs> that nigga need to stay at bang, arm's bang, length bang, from bang. fucking Tyson Fury for real <laughs> what was Come this on, fight man. number three this is three yeah first fight was draw yep. second fight TKO yep Last Knock night out. or whatever, TKO. It was the same thing, bro. He, come on, Wilder, move on, bro. Move on. This one ain't for you. He he's just not a good fighter, bro. He's just not. Look, you you're, you got you got to remember, like Wilder has only been fighting for like five or six years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He start yeah he started when he was like 21. That's crazy. He was like a football star, bro. But why this nigga want to keep fighting the biggest nigga? In because the he's a big nigga himself. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to fight I, big I, niggas. I guess it's not too many niggas you could get to match. Yeah. Really. Like I guess, you know what I'm but, saying, right. but then and then Deontay, Fuck you that. know, he did have an, a little when he first came in, like yeah, he, he was, was knocking fools, he was left and right, bells, yeah, bro, yeah. bringing them, yeah. bing, bing, bing. that's all he's got going for him. He's a power player, but yeah, but yeah. he doesn't have the the coordination and and you the know skill. that boxer structure right. that some of these other boxers have had and been working on for fucking years, ten years. plus, fifteen, twenty oh. years, you know. So that's his biggest downfall. Is really yeah. just that, like. He, la- he lacks the the boxing skill. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Come on, man. Just you don't let him Floyd. hit you. You ain't Floyd, bro. <laughs> Hell nah. Move your feet. You need to go watch that nigga. Let, go move your feet. Move your feet, goddamn it. Stay at arm's length. But anyways, yeah, so Deontay Wilder lost again. Mm-hmm. So you knew know, that was going to happen. I knew. I kind of knew it was going to yeah. happen, too. I was like, why again, Deontay? <laughs> his ego is move crushed his out, fucking, bro. bro. That's why he wanted that third him, fight. Him and fucking, uh, what's the, the other dude that's got a hurt ego right now? Uh, uh, McGregor. 
McGregor's ego is hurt too. Oh yeah, he been getting his he ass keeps, up he too. He keeps uh, losing, yeah. bro. <laughs> he doesn't. I mean, he keep losing. In the last fight, didn't he break his fucking leg or whatever? Oh yeah, that shit snap, bro. Yeah, he's I mean, getting granted, old, he bro, went, like... he went and bought a fucking big ass yacht boat. Oh, did you see that shit? Boat and shit. Yeah, but still, <laughs> you know that motherfucking ego. That's why you went and bought that overcompensating ass boat, <laughs> nigga. Facts. Yeah, your fucking ego hurt. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, nigga. He's just, he's getting old. I don't think he's got. I think he's still under contract for like three more fights, and he's probably gonna lose those ones too. I believe. Yeah. They need to just stop. They need to just let him go. Just pay that nigga out and let him For go. For real. He's giving y'all a hell yep. of a show. Yeah, he, yeah you make a lot of money <laughs> on, off of it. On and off the fucking ring. Right. Or in and out the ring. Mm -hmm. Just let him go. Yep. Don't let the nigga get hurt no more. He's gonna <laughs> die. Anyways, man. We got a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we got a down in Florida and in um in California. There's there's some expos and some big shit that, go, that are going on. So they're doing like the drink expos, the cannabis drinks ep expos and exhibits. Okay. Uh, so if y'all want to go check those out, uh, I believe the one down in Fort Lauderdale is nope. Never mind. It's the one in Cali. That's November 11th this year. And then I know there's one that's going to be in Florida if it didn't already pass. There was some other big expo that was kind of pertaining to the same kind of situation. Dope. So if y'all want to go join that, uh, November 11th for California. It's in San Francisco. And yeah, go check it out. It should be dope. And it's all for drinks? Yeah, it's, it's about the whole, like, that's like the main focus of okay. it. And I'm sure there's going to be other shit. They never sure. do one thing there. That's they dope. always kind of have a plethora of things that you can kind of Absolutely. learn about and shit. For sure. But yo, down in fucking Florida, though. There was a $2 million fucking, or $2 million worth of marijuana that was found in a Florida storage facility. Damn. Damn. Like a public storage type yeah, shit? Yeah, No so, shit. But they don't know whose it is. Okay? <laughs> okay. So the sheriff's office down there wrote a Facebook post looking for the rightful <laughs> owner. Anybody want to claim this weed? Anybody want to yeah. claim this $2 million <laughs> worth of weed? Please step forward. Come on now, man. Did someone turn themselves in? Um, no, it's Florida. Why, like, why the yeah. fuck would anybody do that? <laughs> That's Florida. That's a lot of fucking weed to have in the storage. Yeah, seven hundred and seventy pounds of what they claim to be high grade marijuana. I just feel like they should be making shit up. Oh yeah, somebody got seven hundred and seventy pounds of high grade marijuana <laughs> in a fucking storage facility. <laughs> fuck out of here. That was some fucking bunk <laughs> ass shit. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell I mean, even yeah. looking at the fucking the, the picture, like none of this shit look high grade. There's nothing high grade it's about this shit. It's probably all moldy and shit. Bro, this too. shit is mid pack yeah. at the best. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Mid pack at best, but they, in quotes, high grade marijuana. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Makes man. Makes it sound good. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That was not high grade. No, not at all. But, anyways, yeah, so if uh, the rightful owners want to go ahead and. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come through and, and claim that shit. You here's know. your chance. Here's your chance. They're looking for you now. They're they're looking for the rightful owner. Uh, they want to they want to return that back to you. So you said the sheriff wink, wink. did this, right? Yeah, come okay. on, man. Come on, boy. I better just take that loss. Yeah. Chug it up. Keep <laughs> right? pushing. God damn it. <laughs> damn, they got him. They got that one. Hell no. And you better hope that they don't. You know, they can't tr tr uh, trace that back to you in any fucking sort of fashion or way. Yeah, they don't have records of these stories. I'm sure they do, yeah, but you know, you know it's mean? Florida. Come on, man. I know, right? Oh, yeah, just cover like $100, you know right. I'm saying? Don't put no name on that <laughs> yeah, shit. You're right. Yeah. Just throw me the keys for that bitch. <laughs> Might yeah. be the owner's shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then there was a massive uh, marijuana operation worth more than $100 million Damn. discovered in Damn, Southern nigga. Oregon. Hell yeah. yeah what? Yeah. <laughs> what Deputies fuck? stumbled into this fucking oh, shit. operation here. So they was just out, you know, doing their thing, trying to get some shit and, you know, they scoping the land. Investigation. Yeah, Damn. They were just, they were scouting. Yeah. And they happened to just like, Phew. well, shit. Well, look at this. Look what we found, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. where, where was this? Oregon? Yeah, this is in Oregon. Okay. In uh, Kalamath Falls, Oregon, to be specific. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine? Mm, 100 million? Yeah, 100 million yeah. is the estimated street value. So, you know, they always a little, you little, huh? Uh, so yeah, you, you, you might be like 75. Right, right. <laughs> Put that little extra on it. Well, they're going to look at it from like, if you sold it gram for gram, That's you know, right. they're always going to look for the highest number. Absolutely. But Absolutely. these niggas is not getting gram for gram. They're wholesaling. <laughs> they're wholesaling. Pounds, metric yeah, tons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe like, maybe like, you know, 50 to 75 million, you know what I'm saying? Right. Still a lot of money. Still a lot of money. Yeah. But they stumbled across this shit. That's crazy. So, With no yeah. investigation, bro. I know they're happy. Oh, yeah, you bro. So I mean? 27,000 square foot uh, potato shed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they was trying to, you know, keep it under wraps. They was doing what they had. Yep. And uh, yeah, it was filled with marijuana in various stages of processing. Uh, they said authorities said that they found drying, uh, drying weed. They found all sorts of shit going on. 
buds. They found, again, different various stage of growth. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they found uh, some pruned and, and stuffed bags, uh, around like 40-pound bags or whatever, hundreds of those 40-pound bags. Damn. So, okay. <laughs> Yeah, 40 they, pounds they, yeah, times they, hundreds. Yeah. They was moving some weight. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what, yeah. again, they're not, this was wholesale. Oh, yeah. This was wholesale on a large scale. Facts. You got you buying 40 pound bags at a time? <laughs> God. You doing something. Damn. Yeah, you making some bread. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we only sell 40 pounds at a time, sir. Damn. You got to buy a 40 pound bag. What if that is the minimum? Bro, that, if it's you're stuffing be, right? bags with 40 pounds at a time, yeah. that's your minimum. Shit. That's your MLQ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Minimum <damn>. order quantity. <laughs> 40 pounds and up, bitch. Uh, and it's 40 at a time. You can't even do 45. You know, ain't damn. breaking this bitch down. Nope. 40 at a time. <laughs> I like it. That'd be crazy. Hell yeah. Did you imagine that? Nope. Man. Those would be great times. <laughs> so, you know, whoa, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Just thinking about it. But anyways, yeah. So, you know, they're they're going to continue to give us more about that as it fucking develops and they figure out who the fuck this belongs to. That's right. And the other two, 770 <laughs> pounds of mid-grade, not high-grade weed belongs to. Just don't answer that fucking Facebook. Why do they go to fa- I, Facebook? Bro, is the feds, bro, right? for real. Oh, yeah. No, they, they are the feds. Exactly. Like, I legit. stay off of that shit, Legit. Bro. Don't be doing illegal shit on Instagram, fucking Facebook, <laughs> fucking Twitter, none of that shit. They Y'all gonna learn. They gonna learn. That's anyways. crazy. Facts, you know what I'm saying? But anyways. Like, we're going on nothing. Listen to this shit, bro. <laughs> Listen to this shit. Uh-oh. Smoking marijuana could lead to breakthrough COVID cases. Study finds. Okay. Catch this. Uh-huh. Heavy marijuana users who are also vaccinated may be more susceptible to breakthrough cases of COVID-19. <laughs> oh, for real. Yeah. Right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's, really? That's though? cap. Because everybody I know that smoked weed is the ones that was good. Right. <laughs> yeah. The whole time, nigga. Our, our lungs is used to the bullshit, bro. That's right. Well, they, yeah. well, this is what they're saying. They're saying if you've been vaccinated, so like, for instance, myself, mm-hmm. and, I, and you're a heavy user, you're more, I'm more susceptible to getting COVID. Whereas you as heavy users, who don't yeah. aren't vaccinated? You're just at the same risk that you were. But I don't believe it. I don't, I don't either. Like, I'm like, what? What do you say about? So you're shit? saying if I'm vaccinated, but I'm smoking, I can catch the shit easier. That's what they're saying. Where's these studies? Who is so, this? Who so is this? Maybe maybe we should just. Stay smoking. <laughs> and say fuck the vaccinations all together. Huh? Or, 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 or get the vaccinations and say you, you got to do one or the other. There you, you can't go. Do both. Hey, that's, they according, trying, according they, to them. They keep trying to, bro. They, they, every every other day, we got some Damn. fuckery, bro. Mm. Coming out about this. Anyways, y'all just take that for what it is. I just wanted to yeah. bring it down. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's Nigga, bullshit. that's some bullshit. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, that here. shit is fucked up. Like, Come on, man. Facts. I mean, are they saying smoking weed or smoking? Like just smoking. I mean, they they said they they did claim like tobacco in there, but there's like weed was the specific study was a base because around. Because if you want to sit there and say like, oh, because you know, since it, since it does attack, it can attack your lungs and all that. I would think, okay, maybe since I'm damaging my lungs more, maybe I would be more susceptible or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, but I don't think it's marijuana smoke. Right. Maybe just smoking. Now, if somebody said that, I might be able to say, all well, right. I don't know. This shit this scientific so, yeah, shit. I don't <laughs> fucking know. It's fucking confusing. Yeah, I was just like, oh, man, I'm going to bring it up. But we, gonna, we ain't going we to harp on it. That's I don't know. crazy. Do what you want. We ain't going to say shit. Yep. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm smoking. Do what you want. I'm smoking. I'm you smoking. Still smoke. We all smoking. I would have to be really fucking rich and just, just like really fucking just content with life. Mm-hmm. That's probably the only time I would ever be able to just like stop smoking for real. I don't think I'll ever stop smoking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. No, I could. I'm, I'm not saying I will, but I'm saying I could though. Right. Because be- like, bro, most of the time I smoke is because I'm sitting there bored. Or I'm like, you know what I mean? Or yeah, just, I feel that. Like, well, how about this though? Did anybody go to the New York cannabis event out there? Because no. <laughs> fuck that shit. Too scientific. And we ain't at that point in life where we even got to contemplate. Right. You're not. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That shit. We're gonna keep working. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be smoking for a long time. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're gonna keep working. Uh but there was two or er, the organizers told uh uh or basically came out and you know talked about the whole situation. I think it was on Sunday yesterday mm-hmm. that this all ha- happened and went down. And it seemed to be successful. It didn't seem to be that there was any 
problems or any issues at the event. It was 81 vendors, oh. and uh, basically it was all for free, oh. um, you know, with donations uh, being preferred or you know, buying a for sticker sure. or, you know, a pipe some or, merch something, or something and, yeah, yep. you being gifted some some products or whatever, whether it was gummies or flour or whatever. I think this was all mainly like edibles, though, oh. um, but I'm sure there was some flour at some of these. And this was the New York one you were Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yep, and we yep. talked about in, this not too long Angola ago, didn't we? or whatever it was called. Yeah, we talked about it yeah. the other day. So it actually happened on, on Sunday. Dope. So if anybody was out there and you got to experience it and, and you know, what, like send us what you thought about it. What was your experience like going to check that out? Because I think that's super dope that New York is definitely like making big waves. They like really they're are. trying to be super progressive with this whole thing and become a powerhouse like even though you can't buy it yet. That, yeah. shit, but... that, that, that shit was probably fire. <laughs> yeah, I bet you it was oh, dope. hell yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. So, Absolutely. You know what time it is. We got some fuckery right here, bro. Hit that mid pack. <laughs> you smoke mids? Oh, mids? Oh, you smoke mids? <laughs> All right, are you ready for this shit? Yeah, let's hear it. I'm going to read this fucking title to you. This fucking <laughs> headline, and, and <laughs> I'm going to get y'all's reactions. Okay. R. Kelly's music sales soar oh. over 500% <laughs> following sex trafficking conviction. <laughs> This is facts. This really Bruh. are you kidding fact, me? I, I already knew that. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, that's that's wild, bro. People are supporting look, this shit. And here's the thing: Come on, the mid pack don't go to R. Kelly. It goes to all you yeah, fucking that are assholes out there shit. supporting that, that shit, nigga. Get it five hundred percent. But it went up. Y'all <laughs> niggas is nasty. Y'all is fucked up in the head, bro. There's hey, a lot yo, of y'all supporting this shit. Bro. Niggas keep getting these passes, bro. Niggas is facts. fucked up, bro. Oh my god! Like where do you where do you draw the line? Oh my god! What, 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 what does someone gotta do? You gonna say post, fuck come, you, on. Like, come on, bro! Look, they have this. Fu- okay, <laughs> the fucking phenomenon, the posthumous effect is known phenomenon, or uh, yeah, is a known phenomenon in the uh, music industry, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, when motherfuckers die or something crazy happens, everything shoots like, up, things go through the roof. Absolutely. But why is the yeah, fact? But why is die. that? Yeah. But why is his like? Like that just shows you a lot of people are still supporting him, bro. Fucking like kids, bro. Maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> yes. I'm gonna give people the benefit of the doubt right now and say maybe it's the younger generation curious who the fuck is R. Kelly, and now they're maybe. like going to figure it out. You know, that could, that um, could be very. A, true. A, I didn't that, think about that. I wouldn't that. say okay. that's all of it, but that's probably a big part. That has to be a big part because for sure. I don't. Oh you man. Know, and then and then the rest of y'all niggas is the nasty ass old niggas. To say, that's Fuck right. It, I, I grew up to the <laughs> yeah, like that dude who tried to who, who was testifying against them was like, I still would work with R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah. like Fuck niggas out like that. Like, can I play him his, my mixtape, please? Mm-mm. Mm. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so according to Rolling Stone, Kelly sales have jumped. 517% percent since the guilty verdict. Yeah. The New York Post points out that between September 27th and October 3rd, the week following Kelly's conviction, his on-demand audio streams were up 22%, while his video streams were up 23% Damn. compared to the previous seven days. You think <sighs> someone will jump He's, on his catalog now? Nah, no. Nah. No. Hell nah. Yeah. Nah, bro, nobody in the industry that's got enough remember, money to buy that shit want to own that shit. This nigga put out that long ass fucking series of videos, the trapped in the, the, trapped in the, the closet. closet. How many yeah, was there? Like, like 20, 27. Yeah. Bro, that shit was 30 weird of them bitches. Fuck. I always thought it was weird as fuck. Because that nigga's tra- he was trapped in the closet. He was telling us something <laughs> in that shit, bro. He, he had was, people he trapped in the closet. He was telling us. Oh, yeah. And all them songs, bro. It was way more going on. Facts. And then y'all know he called himself He called himself the Pied Piper. Have y'all ever looked up that folklore? Uh-uh. Nope. Nigga, it was like a little dude. I, I don't want to like 100% go, but you can look it up or whatever. But it was like a dude, like this little dude in the, in a village, and this nigga played music. He was a really good mu- um, musician. Okay. And he would leer kids in like- Oh, like, no shit. Leer children. And he called himself this? And he called himself this for all these years, and niggas ain't never even- been like, oh shit, two and two. This nigga was telling us bro, oh, yeah. a long time ago. Oh yeah, through all his music. You all his songs he's talking about. Kelly shit, bro. Up, bro. Nigga saying, Y'all better fucking just delete it all. Yeah. <laughs> delete it all. Like, <laughs> just delete it. I, I Burn all lie. the CDs. I, I never was a, a fan. Delete it. I never was a hater or nothing, but I never was a fan like that. I always thought he had like some weird shit. Like about him, like nigga, this nigga is just not the type of nigga I want to be. Just like, delete right? it. You know just delete it. Just delete. <laughs> you don't Weird, need it, bro. You don't need delete it. Delete the shit, bro. That's fucked and, up. And, and, and you, that's you, fucked up. In fact, up. we can't even really blame it on the old niggas like that because they got the niggas album. They bought it already. <laughs> yeah. They play that shit in the car, nigga. Y'all oh, niggas man. is going on Spotify. Yeah, they said streams Apple. like and watching the videos and everything. Yeah, no, bro. no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, fuck that. Just that, delete that, it. That better be all niggas. Just 21 delete it. and under. Delete it. 
<laughs> that are trying to be like, who the fuck is R. Just Kelly? Just delete it. Can we just delete it? No, I, I, I want to say don't just delete it. No, nah, bro, delete it. Get that shit out look, of here, delete bro. it. The reason why I say that is because it, what do you mean by delete it? You saying YouTube and yeah, just about, delete it. The reason why I say that like is how because, YouTube already deleted his channels. Yep. Delete it. If they gonna do that, then they gotta go delete all the cool. shows about murderers and all these niggas who got lime. No, 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 no. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Like, but you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Okay. You look, can't just look. take a nigga's work away because he did some fuck shit. Now we can we can judge it different, but we can't just say, "Oh, you didn't do this, nigga." Well, demonetize it. There you go. I agree. <laughs> there with you that. go. <laughs> I don't let this nigga him where it hurts. Make no yeah. money, but don't like just delete it from the world. That's deleting history, bro. Well, they deleted the niggas they, wrong. Did they delete Pee Wee Herman shit though? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yeah. then, look, I don't think you can find a, a bunch of the Pee Wee Herman shit because after all his skin, no all shit. His shit. I didn't know shit about him. What was him? What, didn't Pee Wee Herman get in trouble for fucking around and I, I, doing some fuck shit? I think he was like. Masturbating in a movie yeah, theater some, or some shit. Some crazy like yeah. a Mary Kay Nash. Yeah. <laughs> some <laughs> weird shit, bro. Like yeah. What? The yeah. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but but his, his content was dedicated towards children, though. That's what's <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Apparently, R. Kelly's is too because it's got to be all these young niggas that's out here streaming their music and shit. <laughs> and he was the pop piper luring kids in, nigga. <laughs> Oh, I'm just shit. Watch, watch when you, you look that story up, bro. Nigga, watch when you look that shit up. You're going to be like, you're going to be like, you're going to be like, you're I couldn't believe this shit because I, I remember like hearing it in the songs. He would always say it in his ad lib, like, Pied Piper and shit. Like, like what the, fuck, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? Like, he would call, you know how everybody this got their little moniker. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. called himself terrible, that nigga. Terrible. He said it on, on, the, uh, on the record with Marcus Houston. We up in yeah, the club. Right. He said that shit on the God beginning. damn. Look. <laughs> Delete it. Okay. That's all I gotta say. Delete it. That shit. Anyway, I love y'all, man. Delete that shit. Burn them Kelly don't, album. Don't go stream that shit no more, y'all. Just, like just 500 percent Don't support 517 to be exact. <laughs> like that's crazy, nigga. Y'all like, niggas like, is like, way give, too matter curious. Fact, matter of fact, fuck that. Y'all keep running them numbers up and give all this niggas profits to this niggas victims, bro. Oh, boom. Well, okay, or that. Okay, I like that. Just That's do that. Cool. Yeah, I like and that. We'll be all right because then now they could benefit off even the fake victims, even the fake ones, all of them, even the fake ones, even the nigga that <laughs> came <laughs> up trying <laughs> to get his <laughs> even, even, even the twenty <laughs> new niggas that going to come out <laughs> yeah. after y'all make that law. Just pay all them niggas. Just give them all. Give them all like a even percentage. That's right. Let them eat on that shit forever. It's cool. You know. Oh man, that's fucked up. Anyways, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> There's no me without you. Always my little life high, honest, intelligent, genuine, humble, except for the real goddamn. I'm sexy. His confidence is key. If you can't tell yourself that you're sexy, then why the fuck should anybody else? All right, I, I love y'all. Shout out to my dog Turner One Tay. He back. He back in action. Hopefully he'll be here. You gonna be here all week? I'm um, pretty sure. Gonna probably, try? probably not Friday, but all right. Well, he's gonna sure. try. We're gonna try to get yes, sir. here every motherfucking day. Shout out to my dog Eric. Shout out to Coco yes, Ganja because she you, was bro. here, but uh, she had to dip out early. You already know if we don't get this shit started in time, this is just how the shit go. That's just yeah. what it is, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yo, uh, let us know too about what kind of merch y'all want. Y'all want to start seeing some some hoodies. Y'all want to see t-shirts. Y'all want to see what do y'all want to see, bro? Because we're trying to get some merch out for y'all and start doing some sh some cool shit because mm -hmm. we want to motherfucking. Grow, and we want to get y'all some merch so y'all can support and y'all can continue to show and, and talk about this, and, you know, in y'all's personal lives. And you know what I'm saying? That's right. Be, be, be personal billboards for us, bro. We need y'all. All right. I love y'all. There is no me without you. Uh, shout out to Coco Ganja Plus. Make sure y'all follow on all her goddamn platforms, the backups, all that. Go stream my dog's music. Turn a one take. It's all one word. Go follow my social medias as well. Same thing. Turn a one take. All one word. Shout out to my dog, Eric. Follow him as well. The Content Creation Studio. And uh, yeah, we catch y'all tomorrow. You dig what I'm saying? It's Monday. Y'all have a good motherfucking day. And we'll see y'all tomorrow on Tuesday. Peace.